Nee, maar ik had iets waar maar af en toe dat zeg ik naar af. Ik denk, voorts. Dat het aan kan verlost towards um, six minutes of kind of madness. Um, yeah, it was a shot. Conceded in penalty, conceded in a ball, losing a player. And I um, think we, we probably lost, lost our heads at this moment, leaning into a, a second ball and a third goal. And from there, you can see it cool. We, we yeah, the main move off our head, gave up. And he's talking, I said before, and we struggled with confidence. And it clearly took away all confidence from what we did very well in the first half. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you, you cannot, you cannot display things like this. It just happens straight in the face and most difficult to come back from it. Is it worrying, though, as a manager for sitting here talking about players giving up, losing their heads? See? Is it, is it worrying as a manager that, that something like that could happen, that, that players give up, that they lose their heads? Yes, Ian, to just sit or stand on the sideline and criticize, you know, after after the first half coming in our first half, you know, it, it's a game like we wanted it to be, you know, we were defending compact, they didn't find um, ways to play the worst, and then coming in second half, so early, conceding the board, losing the player, conceding another one, it's, it's easy to criticise when you're standing outside or watching the game throw the stands. Uh, I think, you know, it's, it's in no one, but, but look, it is. Excuse me, when you lose five zero, it's kind of pathetic to me. Excuse me, not looking what positive is. It. Um, it's embarrassing to lose five zero. It was also maybe a game where you probably struggled to create chances. So that moment in the first half when Evan Ferguson went down and the penalty wasn't given. Have you watched it back? What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was a penalty for sure. But, um, uh, we we asked. Uh, I don't remember what um, what the referee said. Um, why they didn't give it, but of course how would have changed the momentum in the game. And again, I don't want to. I don't want to make excuses. And then, but first time was good. Let's 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 uh, take that as a as a positive. But then this team forward, we need to play teams like Elon and that probably have better players than 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 us. And and. and First off, give us a man yet. How we how we can play against teams like that? Then Pintas, hi Amir. When you say the players stay both, and what do you mean? No, I think that they we kind of rush what we were doing in the first half. Uh, maybe it's too harsh to say give up, but like I said, it's easy to criticize when you when you're, you're not playing the game. We had a game plan and it was working perfectly, and all of a sudden six minutes is no way out. It's three zero one man down against a team like England. So it says. It's kind of a shock, and I, I didn't feel that we have we had any way out from from there, um, and it's just a little bit of damage as much as we could. How serious are the confidence issues in this team, and do you worry that you won't be able to improve though? But if you can play like this, fifty minutes, let's hope that next game at least we can do it longer uh, and with a little luck. So they, if we would have gotten the penalties for the board, it's just a totally totally different game. It's it's uh, and it's psychological advantage bosh instead of the different different scenario we had today. But um no, I I believe in this guys. I believe in this guys. What the past has been tough. Um so we just need if we just need to kind of use this to our advantage, look at look at what we can take positive from this game. Uh, it was a lot of negative, but let's, let's, for me, it's important to just look at the positives and bit of from that. Dan Hilst? Hey, we're, um, you, you couldn't have foreseen the consequences of all it, but the fact that being scaled his first yellow card is for taking the ball away in itself, a, a career sets the nines for it. Now, we, we, we say, we say that every meeting, and don't get seen in yellow cards. First and what first and falls because we want to have our best players on the pitch, and in this tournament, for example, two yellow cards is is a, is a suspension. We are missing night eight today because of two yellow cards. We we obviously all coaches would like to have a better player on the pitch. Um, yeah, I, I I I don't know if it was fair, but I know he took the ball away, so 
probably time to kill the time and get himself back. I had the thing was after a sick piece or something. Yeah, I think so. Um, but in came out of the pre-saves, that second half was very fresh in, in the mind I had because I just asked the, the use of Aidan Collins in the first half and that all, and was that something you planned for some time, something that just this week you formulated, and did you see enough from that that it's something you could do again actually in the future? Yeah, I thought that worked, that that, that set up the, the, the tactics we play first half and against the big team like Ingram. I think it's, it fits the profile of the players where we use it. And, uh, and it fits the, the way England is playing. They, they have players drop it into that soul. It's like when your RK was playing, that's that's his style of play. He kind of rocks this, the centre backs away. Now we had kind of a centre back in that space, so he, he covered really well in these runs. And they didn't play in the first half through our, through our block. They needed to go upside a little bit like, like when you can increase the period played outside of our block um, and then uh, I think we didn't create a lot of opportunities to score we didn't use the the time we we, we, we won the ball we didn't use that well but I think it was um, it was a try worth worth taking uh, and let's see if we build on that on the end obviously after the red card it was the uh, the natural and the players on the pitch don't just really set I'm sure then from them um, but with the same goal especially from us so quickly did you consider making a change just to give a message onto the pitch to is that any, any you could have gone to just stop that you led to signal spread yet no that happened really quickly I wrote it down it was t- second minute the first goal and Nathan Collins is just dropping until he played a 4 4 one one no, or 4 4 one sorry. And then two minutes later, so it was kind of a little chance to old chase tactics or, or, or throw in players. And then the third goal was 58, so 52, 40, 50, 40, 58. Um, and then after after this first half, I know physically it, it's it's difficult to play defending all the time physically, but then you could see it mentally it was, it was tough as well. So for that reason, we made a triple change just to get fresh, fresh heads uh, and fresh players, fresh legs, and to to fight for the rest of the game because it was physically and men- mentally it was a it was a shock for everyone. It answered the question, sorry, what is it? Yeah, feeling. Uh, well, another huddle for the Irish day at the end of the mix. Thank you very much.